How's it going everyone? This is DJ Zeus with another video and today I'm going to show you how to route your T-Mobile Galaxy Note 4. Um, this is for models SM-N910T and um, basically in order to find out if your model is compatible basically all you need to do this is my wife's phone by the way I've already rooted my phone since we both have the same phone just thought I'd show you a video on how to do it. So first you're going to go into your settings, go down into your about device, and right here you can see model number SM-N910T, if it'll focus, there we go. So obviously it's a compatible model. Um, so this is specifically for the T-Mobile variant Samsung Note 4. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is get your USB device or um, power charging cord. Go ahead and plug that into your laptop. Plug the other end into your phone. This little doodad is going to pop up. Install device driver. Should already be installed because I used my phone. De ding installing driver software yada yada <clears throat> okay ready to use I'm gonna go ahead and close that I'm gonna leave this link in the description and this is basically how I was able to figure it out but for those of you who want to see it done um, this is why I'm making this video so root T-Mobile device so the first step you're going to want to do is back up your phone, obviously. And there are um, some, tu not tutorials, but like little step-by-step -step right here that will show you exactly how to back up your phone's information, stuff like that. So second step is to install the driver just like I just showed you. Third step is download. So you're going to want to go here. Go into CF Auto Root File, and this is the download link. If you click on this, it'll take you to this screen. You just scroll all the way to the bottom, and right here is the download link, CF Auto Root. Once you download it, it's going to um, come up as a zip folder. And basically, what you want to do is extract everything uh, from that folder. And I just basically made a temporary folder for my desktop. So as you can see here, this is the extracted um, information that was in that zip folder. So from now, um, let's go back to this screen. After you have that downloaded, um, after you have everything extracted, you're going to want to boot your device into download mode. So first, you're going to want to disconnect your cell phone. Let me zoom out of here. Disconnect it. Turn your phone off. Beep. So it's now off. Well, it's turning off. Any day now. Okay, so now it's off. So basically you're going to want to hold these three buttons. It's going to be the volume down, the home button, I'm sorry, the power button, and then the home button. So you're going to hold all three of these buttons down, like so. It'll vibrate and you see this pop up, warning, custom OS can cause critical problems, yada yada. The next thing you're going to want to do is press the volume up. It'll take you to this screen, downloading, do not turn off target. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is connect your, oh, sorry, go back into this folder, go back into your extracted folder or wherever it is that you extracted that stuff from the zip file, and you're going to want to open Odin uh, 3. Uh, dash v 3.07 and once you open that I already have it open this will pop up so once that's open 
As you can see, it says pass already because that's from when I did my phone. So let me go ahead and close this just in case and I'll reopen it. It'll, this little thing will pop up, just click yes. So now it's gonna pop up like a brand new fresh screen. So what you wanna do from here, zoom out again, plug in your phone, beep. Um, that little pop-up thing on the screen will happen again, telling you to install, ready to use, blah, blah, blah. I'll just wait for this to finish. I don't think you necessarily have to, because I don't think I waited for it, because it was already, but well, it's finished, so. As you can see, IDCOM right here, there's already something there. Next, what you want to do is click on PDA. Click on that. This should automatically open, and this is basically going to be one of the files in that zip folder that was uh, downloaded, and it's the CF auto root. If this doesn't automatically pop up and another window pops up, um, just go to the folder where you extracted the files to, and then just click on this, open it. So this will be in here. Uh, let me just go back to here and make sure that I'm following the steps again because I don't want to mess up her phone. Connected to that. Message in the bottom left. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, make sure install set below, above. Yada, yada. Load recovery file. PDA. Yada, yada. So that was already step six. So I've already loaded that. Um, in the options section of Odin, make sure that the repartition box is unchecked. So as you can see right here, repartition is unchecked, auto reboot is checked, reset time is checked, and uh, double check the above steps, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need. And then just hit start. So once you hit start, that little thing loads. As you can see there, and then downloading, and then I'll take you into this. Once that little red dude pops up, you know that you've done it correctly. From here, it's basically going to reboot your phone. Um, that's that's all you have to do for the Odin program. So now we just wait for the phone to restart. <clears throat> So it's rebooting right now. Android is upgrading. So there we go. Connected as media device. Auto update. Okay, so let's go ahead and swipe the screen. I noticed I didn't like fast forward the video or anything like that. You're watching everything in live time as I am doing this route. Um, okay, so now that it's open, as you can see, if you Look in the notification bar right here, you'll see the little checker thing. That's the Super Sue. So you're going to want to open that. Uh, the SU binary needs to be updated. Continue, yes. So just download it as normal. Because I'm guessing they used an older um, version of Super Sue. So basically, all you're doing is up updating um, this app. And this is essentially the app that gives you super user. Uh, Samson Knox has been detected. This might... <laughs> Sorry about that. That's her ringtone. Um, so this popped up on mine as well. And it's not mentioned in the, um, in the written tutorial on the link in the description that I'm going to put on how to root this device. But um, basically... Uh, try to disable Knox. Just click OK. Disabling Knox. And now for mine, it kind of took a while. And it was kind of stuck on the screen for a couple of minutes. So all I did was I turned it off. And then restarted it. And then the same thing popped up again. And then it asked me if I wanted to disable it. And I clicked OK again. And then... After that, 
So I think it's going to have the same problem with that. And that's the way it looks like it's going to be. Okay, so right now it's, it's pretty much safe to disconnect your phone. So I'll disconnect it. Let me go ahead and just click out of here because that will take forever. And this is the way that I did it on my phone. So I'll just go ahead and power it off or restart actually. No reason to power it down and just restart it. I forgot that feature was on this. <clears throat> so as soon as this restarts, we'll go back into Super Sue. Uh, disable the Knox feature or application that's running in the background. And then we'll download another app which is called uh, Root Checker. There's other apps out there on the Google Play Store, but it's the most popular one. So that's the one that I always use. And the one that's kind of recommended in this um, tutorial. So let's go ahead and open this. Go back into that Super Sue. It should be on the last page. Or uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and open that again. So Samsung Knox has been detected. So once again, hit OK. It's disabling. Knox was successfully disabled. I don't know why the first time that you try to disable it after it just like, you know, hangs there, but. Just power it down and restart it, and now it's disabled. So basically what you're going to want to do is go into your Google Play Store, search, you search root checker, and this is what it looks like. It's a little check sign. Let's go ahead and install that. Accept. <clears throat> now sorry if this video is taking long. I did another video where I was using my SCR Pro and it was only about five or six minutes long. But this kind of shows you kind of, you know, this pretty much shows you the process of how to do it where I had to read on how to do it. This will actually show you, so hopefully this helps out. So you just click on verify root. I'll ask you for super user request. Go ahead and hit grant. Bam, congratulations, this device has root access. So now it is rooted. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, got some other reviews coming out for these phones. And once again, this is a Samsung Note 4. 14 mobile um, We'll be getting some other screen protectors cases and stuff like that. So hit subscribe and stay tuned till next time. Peace